Pike, it's all on this USB drive. All the evidence you need to nail Typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. All right. Bring it with you. I'll meet you in an hour. Thanks. Talk soon. Citizens of Haven Springs, we are live at the Spring Festival. One final reminder to head over to the Lathe Flower Cart and grab a rose before they're gone. At Haven's inaugural Spring Festival, eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What can I say? History is weird. Thankfully, we've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. And if you do have a special someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care. And an even better way to say, hey look, a rose. Sounds fun. Is giving away a rose something I'd do? Maybe. I can decide downstairs. For now, I'll grab the USB stick. I'm thinking this will make an excellent after festival snack. When did I become such a fucking monster? Whoa, what was that? I can still feel some of Charlotte's anger from before. Don't worry. Traditionally, you give roses to your crush at the Spring Festival, so... I've never had a girl give me flowers before. I'm sorry. I didn't know you cared so much about traditional gender roles. I'll get back to my butter churning and doilies. Shut up. You first. Looks like the festival is already in full swing. I'm pretty nervous. I've been meaning to tell Jed about the sink, but I'm afraid he'll try to teach me how to fix it myself. The world really doesn't deserve Thanor. Alto the Bard will ride again. Okay, time to head downstairs.
Ryan would definitely be on my list. Anyway, time to enjoy the festival. It happened last year. Yep. It's been a hell of a I month. I remember it clear as day. But this makes it all worthwhile. Jed loves this town so much. So this is that whole communal gathering thing everyone's always going on about. Yep, I get it.
about it. I guess Riley is feeling sentimental tonight. But I haven't seen her around. Where is she? Oh, Mr. Lantern, I love what you've done with your bar. So then, where's the after party this year? After party? God, Come on. I just Young hope man Riley like is doing all right. You must know oh, no. what the haps is. What happened to Riley? Honestly, I'm getting pretty bushed. You can have Colin it in. Hi, Eleanor. Good evening, dear. Hey, so... Where's Riley? I haven't seen her around. She's not really in the festive spirit. She was supposed to leave town tonight. If it wasn't for, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. You were so helpful to me that day at the shop. If you see Riley, maybe you could help her too. Sure. I'll try my best. The decorations really turned out beautifully. It must have been a huge amount of work. It's worth it. I better get going. Sounds like Ryan is ready for me. Drugstore makeup from Seattle. We've got two faced bitch. Hey. Oh, hey. Just in time. So, who's playing? Yours truly. Seriously? That's awesome. Well, wait. Who else? Steph. Who else is playing? I hate you both. We didn't want you to wuss out. Wussing out is highly underrated. We haven't even practiced yet. Who cares? Everyone's wasted anyway. Just play whatever. I'll follow your lead. 
This is gonna be awesome. Trust me. Um... We've never played together before, and... Uh, anyway... Sorry if this sucks. Charlotte. How deep do you think? The lake, I mean. I don't know. I felt horrible this afternoon. I didn't know if I could survive that feeling. It's like when your leg falls asleep, and even though it's still attached, it's become something other than you. My whole life, I've always felt so deeply, but maybe this is better? There's no shame in needing to feel numb for however long it lasts, if it gets you through another day. I don't feel ashamed. But I take your point. Thank you. At least I can survive numbness. Good to see you, Alex. Have fun at the festival. Sounds like Steph wants to meet me on the rooftop. Okay, I gotta admit, this is a pretty great feeling.
grand opening tomorrow. Free soup and salad for spring festival attendees. Just come introduce I yourself. Gotta pull my shit together for this grand opening. These people won't be so gracious for- I'll take a coupon. No coupons, my dear. Just tell me your name and I'll remember it. All right, Alex Chen. Alex Chen? Didn't we speak already tonight? Nope. Stupid, so stupid. Print some coupons, they said. It's a small town, I'll remember, I said. Oh, hubris. You know, you could try posting on my block. Whoever comments gets the deal. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Best of luck. The Spring Fest is pretty cool, but I should probably head up to the rooftop. There's still a decent crowd milling around tonight. surprise for you. Good surprise or bad surprise? I started a farm in Moondrop Ranch. Get out! I'm I didn't Bellamy. expect that him playing my favorite game adorable. would be a turn on, but I'll here we right are. Now. Game is sick. I love you. I don't want to be late for this surprise. Time to head up to the rooftop. There's still a decent crowd milling around tonight. Ugh, not tonight. Uh, you said you have some news? I'm leaving. I'm actually leaving Haven Springs. Can you believe it? Back on the road again. Fucking finally. Wait, seriously? I'm gonna play music again, Alex. Anywhere I want. God, I forgot how fucking good it feels. <sighs> Holy shit, Steph, that's so cool. I'm really happy for you. You better keep in touch. You think it's that easy to get rid of me? Come on, Chen. I need a new destination. <sighs> You're my good luck charm. You have shit taste in good luck charms. <laughs> Shut up. Pick one.
Wow, nice pick. All right, tell me about my life in the middle of the sea. You could take a job at an underwater research lab. Maybe as like... Chief underwater acoustics engineer? You might need to walk me through that one. Dude, think about it. The kinds of sounds you could capture down there would be like totally unique. I could pioneer a whole new genre. Deep core. <laughs> Wet step. <laughs> That sounds like a pretty spectacular plan. Great. Then come with me. To the ocean? <laughs> sure, why not? Doesn't have to be our first stop, but one day. I still have friends in Seattle who book shows. Maybe we start there or, I don't know, Kansas City, Vegas, wherever we want. Look, I don't want to pressure you, but I've seen you give so much of yourself to make sure other people get what they need. And I guess I wonder if you've thought about what you need. I mean, obviously, I like you a lot. Alex. You mean the fucking world to me. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. have to decide anything now, okay? <laughs> Just think about it. I will. Thank you. I'm gonna head back down. Find me later.
Alex. Do you have the USB drive? I do. It's all here. Gabe's call, their secret plan, the cover-up. You need to come with me to the station. Alex? Don't make this hard. Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? Not exactly. Coffee? I'm all right. Thanks, though. Good. Because we're uh, actually out. Pike. Why am I here? The long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. That's bullshit. I haven't done anything wrong. They're the criminals here. Did you steal this USB drive or not? At least tell me you looked at it. I can't. Sorry. What do you mean? Why not? Well, one, I would need a warrant. And two, the case is closed. The order came down today. I did what I could, but, you know, the evidence just wasn't there. Sorry, Alex. The order came down today from who? High up. Bosses, bosses, boss. It's not my job to know. Look, what happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That could be true. But let's say it is. The issue is you stole Typhon's property. I can't work with that. Okay, I get the point. I'm sorry I stole the drive, but... Apologizing isn't enough. Alex, you're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. Five to ten, easy. You know what? Fuck Diane. This isn't justice. This is a joke. It's not that bad. Hey, I talked to her. And despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. If you agree to drop everything, Typhon won't press any charges. Why would she do that? She just wants this whole thing to go away. This is how to make that happen. Fuck that. I'm not signing anything. Alex. No. Typhon buried something in the mountains. 
Something so massive, they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Alex, please, just sign the form, and we can both go back to the party. No. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No is not an option. What are you so scared of? See for yourself. Shit. What could be in that envelope? Alex, please. I don't want you to get hurt. Then help me, damn it. Is this a threat? What did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. I thought I could get justice for Gabe. Yeah, well, Typhon has their own idea of justice. Shit. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big, too connected, too ruthless. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Pike is terrified of Typhon. I bet if I took his fear away. But it's not just about me. Steph and Ryan are in danger too. Fuck. I want to hurt Typhon so bad. But can I really put their lives at risk along with mine?
want to risk your life over this? Gabe, Mac, Alex, who's next? Fuck. 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 Just keep your head down, Tony. You're just a shit heel. Typhon's major league. Typhon doesn't lose. Typhon disappears, people. Let them get killed. Not you. I know you're afraid. I am too. I know you think that Typhon is too big, too invincible. But they're not. I will bring them down. I just need your help. If not for me, then for Gabe. Please. Fuck. I'll think about it. Thank you. Get the hell out of here. Really? Alex, be careful. Those pictures. How long have they been watching us? And what will they do if... I have no idea what to do next. Maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. First, I need to get out of this dress. It was special for me too, Steph. Enjoy that ice cream. Might as well go talk to Jed now. Can't wait to have nightmares tonight.
Hey, Jed. There she is. Have a seat. Something tells me you've had a more exciting spring festival than you planned for. You saw Pike arrest me. And let you go, apparently. Then there's that business with Ryan and Steph earlier today. I wasn't sure why it took all three of you to work out Diane's lunch order. I know you're used to looking out for yourself. Gabe was like that. But Haven's a community. We help each other. I want to help you. But first, you have to let me know what's going on. Fuck it. What have I got to lose? I've been chasing proof that Typhon was responsible for Gabe's death. And I found out they buried something. A secret. Now they're threatening me. And Steph. And Ryan. Threatened? How? Pike showed me photos. Typhon's been watching us. I'm not giving up, Jed. Not ever. I know what they're hiding. Please, Jed. What's the truth? What are they afraid of? Typhon's the devil that runs this town. I've been carrying their secrets for far too long. I know what they buried in the mountains. Tell me. I'll do one better. I'll show you. There, up ahead. Where are we? The middle of nowhere. About two clicks that way is the mining site where you search for Ethan. Five clicks that way is town. What is this thing? Ventilation shaft. They're scattered everywhere. Over the years, mines grow into mines, creating a labyrinth under Haven. What you're searching for is down below. Chad, why are you sad? Sorry, kid. Jed, what are you doing? I tried to talk you out of it, scare you off. I was sure those pictures of Ryan and Steph would do the trick. 
but you were relentless. Won't leave damn well enough alone. You don't have to do this. I do. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you... you can't undo. But Typhon made me a deal. A way to save my town. Give my boy a normal life. I never wanted Gabe to get hurt. Go to hell. <laughs> <laughs>